Welcome, strangers and friends, back to Dell's Handheld Games. Now, it's been a while since I made a video, um, but I thought I'd make one on this. It's not a Game Boy Advance SP. It's actually a SP, but a 35XX. RG35XX, of course, from my good friends at Ambernick, who seem to be pumping out these new consoles pretty fast. There's an RG Cube XX coming out pretty soon. Um, not quite as powerful as the normal RG Cube, but yeah. I was really intrigued by this one because of the form factor being like a um, SP, of course. And I've got a real SP here, my Zelda one, to compare. It's quite a good um, representation. It's a little bit bigger, as you can see, a little bit wider, and a little bit fatter if you look like this. So it's a little bit fatter. You've got um, your power there and your oh, um, reset, I think. Uh, Plus and minus for the volume. Your two SD card slots, or TF, micro SD, I mean. Um, your headphone jack. You've got your HD, um, HDMI. I'm not a standard HDMI. I'm not sure what one that is. Uh, and your USB OTG cable, on-the-go cable slot. So... Yeah, I picked this up because I like my SP and um, I quite like how it has the Game Boy Advance there, even though that's just on the screen, because the screen is a bit bigger. Um, but they've made it look like when you put Game Boy Advance games on, they've made it look similar at the bottom, which is a nice touch. So it says Game Boy Advance SP. So... For those of you who don't know, you can play a variety of games on this up to um, kind of Dreamcast, PSP level. Um, not perfect on those, but playable, definitely. Um, and some play really well. Um, let's have a look at what you can get on this thing. It's just got the normal OS that comes with it, um, stock OS. Um, There we go. There's RetroArch. Um, come on so these are the games that come with it on the SD card that comes with it. Um, some interesting systems on here like, like that one and the Virtual Boy, which I've not really seen on um, SD cards that just come with a system. I wonder this one often does come. you got some ports on there as well. Things like Quake and um, Duke, not Duke Nukem. Um, Castle Wolfenstein's on there. So you got Theta X and Neo Geo. Neo Geo Pocket Color. PC Engine. Game & Watch even. So yeah, pleased with that. Just a quick look at. Not a review, but... I do think it's a good little handheld and it does pull off the job of being a um, SP alike. Um, yeah. Don't know why Nintendo don't crack down on stuff like this when they're messing them out with emulators on um, sites, taking them down, but um, maybe that's coming. Hopefully not, because I like these clones and these knockoff looking units. Um, yeah, this is quite a good one, I think, from what I can tell. Got it for 38 quid, um, um, plus postage from, um, eBay, which I think is a pretty good deal. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, if you're new, why not join the channel, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and leave your comments too if you want. Have you got one of these?
Do you want one of these? Have you got an original SP? Do you hate what they're doing knocking off Nintendo consoles? Let's see what you think in the comments. Okay, and like and subscribe. See you on the next one.